Hey fellow tennis nerds, I hope all is well. Behind me I have two Extreme Rackets, Extreme Night Editions, MP and Tor. Play with those today. Update on Patreon, my Patreon page. But today I want to talk about what's in that box. And uh, actually there's nothing in the box because I already opened it. But it's a cool looking box. It's a new prototype uh, racket from Head. Looks like this, all blacked out. Pretty interesting head shape. A little bit flat here, kind of isometric style. And um, 100 square inch hitting surface. Uh, this is not the, the paint job that they will release or the design they will release. This is a... Um, prototype or um, teaser edition as they call them and uh, very keen to review this but I've already taken it out for about you know a full 90 minute session and uh, was very pleased with it also my buddy Matthew who played with this frame was was very happy with it uh, it's not a racket for my game it's a kind of tweener style frame focused on power and spin and it's a hundred square inch racket so I prefer a little bit more uh, smaller head size as you know uh, my kind of head frame is the it's the prestige MP pretty much uh, but it, it's uh, this one actually had some some really nice characteristics when playing you know after one session one of them is the feeling in the string bed that was very good sensation I had a feeling that I was in control of the ball uh, I got a new string with the frame that it's also kind of not released yet um, kind of transparent gray uh, and uh, it's very soft so I thought maybe I'll get a bit more control from the frame if I add something like a Lynx Tour or Head Hawk which is more control oriented so I'll do that but the benefit of this string was that it was very soft on the arm so even this kind of tweener style frame with this string I had no arm issues really my shoulder is bad I have some bad knees I'm pretty much a broken man in many ways for all the tennis I've been playing and I, I go to the gym and I stay healthy eating well and so on but uh, tennis takes its toll on the body uh, so I'm trying to find a good schedule for managing all my injuries um, because I take them seriously so I do the flex bar and I do that stuff so don't worry power and spin very open pattern maybe a bit too open for my taste um, there is a risk when you have a, a soft string that you're gonna get some sailors the ball is just shooting out um, but overall uh, you know you feel like you're in control you feel like you can whip up some good racket head speed pretty lightweight racket I actually ended up adding some lead tape up here uh, that's about two grams because I felt like uh, the swing weight was too low so uh, when I put it on the swing weight machine with the strings uh, it, it was 307 swing weight and that's a bit too low for my taste works well for for kind of beginner to intermediate players but I like a little bit more heft and stability also better for the arm to have a little bit more weight on the racket so I added a few grams to get it up to 318.5 swing weight strong and then I add a dampener and I'm above 320 which is somewhere where I want to be but the specs is strong with overgrip 316 grams which makes me believe this is a 295 gram unstrung racket I did not measure it unstrung I will do that for the review 32.5 centimeter balance strung uh, that makes sense I think it's a, it is a tweener style spec 24 millimeter beam I had not I haven't measured this with a caliper but it looks very very much like 24 millimeters when I compare it to other 24 millimeter beam rackets I have in my wardrobe over there um, 100 square inches I hope they will do a 98 out of this frame because it does feel very good so a, a 98 would be interesting that's kind of the head size I prefer 1619 pattern and um, and a, a, a nice powerful stick stiffness rating hard to estimate I would say mid 60s based on my hit today but yeah there's uh, there's more info to come obviously we have to just watch this space I don't know if this is gonna be an added line to the already existing lines if it's just gonna replace an instinct or something else but it's definitely an interesting frame something new something a bit refreshing with the head shape and, and something interesting going on here don't know what technologies are included it's all blacked out and I'm just about testing it completely blindly which I kind of like it, it's a better way to do it that way when you don't know anything so you just have to like get your feeling around how the frame actually plays I need a little bit more control overall but if you like power spin tweener frames but you want a little bit of a plusher response in the string bed I do feel like this 
the comfort level is, is pretty good with this frame, at, at least with this string. Uh, so obviously for the review I will restring, try it with a, a stiffer string, see how, how the comfort is then. But for now I was, I was very happy and a bit surprised that they got this quite nice sensation. And not sure what's going on there, but I thought a racket with this beam would be quite, quite stiff you would feel the stiffness pretty pretty quickly but nothing really uh, Matthew also said it, that it felt plush to him so um, curious curious about this one it's a nice racket actually this the, you don't get as much spin as the the extreme tour but you still get good spin the string pattern is quite open so you get quite a bit of especially at the top I don't know if you can see it, but towards the edge of the frame and the top the string patterns a lot more open than the Extreme Tour and the Pure OVS. Um, yeah, you you get good power on the ball, good spin as well. It's like a classic tweener racket, you know. So like something like the Clash. Uh, I like it a lot, though. I prefer it to the Clash personally. Um, like it's nice and solid going through the ball. The strings that we're playing with seem a bit soft for this racket. So if I had to get this racket, I'd probably string it up with quite a tight tension and firmer strings to make up for the loose string pattern. But yeah, first hit and they both seem like very nice rackets. So yeah. Uh, and more to come interesting new stick super looking box uh, they are good at this packaging game head uh, also pretty good at the rackets actually so you got this head you got this that's the hashtag that's pretty much what i know for now and we'll see where we get to with this new racket from head uh, supposed to be a new line so more than this will more rackets than this will come out so watch this space and uh, i will keep you posted with updates on how this plays how other new rackets coming in place i will also revisit the the extreme mp and tour behind me play the extreme tour as well and i really like that frame uh, actually uh, it's a bit of a favorite in the head line right now but we'll see how it plays after a few more sessions so the new racket with the cool box more to come. I hope you found this interesting, useful, whatever. If you want to support Tennis Nerd, please do so by becoming a Patreon on patreon.com slash tennis nerd or buying something through my affiliates. Only brands and products and services that I believe in. If you do, big thanks to you. Have a nice day and don't forget to play some tennis.